Hello there, this is a classic ESP32 camera module. This one is the Shao ESP32 S3 Sense camera module. Now here comes the new contestants to this field from DF robot called ESP32 S3 AI camera module. It has some unique features like it comes with 160 degree wide angle 3 MP camera. It has night vision, onboard i s microphone, ambient light sensor, inbuilt i s amplifier etc. What can you see? It can be integrated with ChatGPT voice recognition and interaction, edge image recognition, etc. I see a figurine of a character with spiky hair and an orange outfit. So in this video, let's find out this DF robot ESP32 camera module is good or just a hype. Let's get started with this video. The module comes in this box. The product code is DFR1154. The box contains the camera module a small speaker and a gravity 4 pin connector. So here is the module. In the first side, you can find that the camera module is different from others. It uses the OV3660 camera while others using the OV2460. Yes, it comes with a 160 degree wide angle 3 MB camera. Then we can see the four IR LEDs for the night vision. Then a microphone, which is a i squares MSM261D PDM high sensitive microphone. Then we can see a LED which is connected to GPO3. Finally, we got a onboard LTR 308 ambient light sensor. On the back side, first we have the ESP32 S3 controller which comes with 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5. Then the SD card slot which supports up to 32 GB. Next is the onboard Max 98357 I2S amplifier. Near to that, we have the speaker JST connector. It support 4 ohm 1.5 watt or 8 ohm 1 watt speakers. Then there are two push buttons for boot and reset. On the left side, there is a screw terminal for power input where we can connect 5 to 12 volt. Then a USB Type-C port for programming. And finally, a gravity connector which is connected to RX and TX pins of ESP32. There is no exposed or user accessible pins on the board. That's a downside. So that's all about the hardware details of this AI camera module. Now let's see how to program this. We can program this module using Arduino IDE and ESP IDF. I am going with Arduino IDE because I am familiar and okay with that only. By the way, all the details available in the DF Robot Wiki page. You can find the page link from the video description. You have to install the ESP32 board to Arduino IDE first. For that, go to File, Preferences, then paste the board URL here in Additional Board URL section. Check video description for board URL. Then go to Tools, Boards, Board Manager. Now search and install ESP32 board to Arduino IDE. I have already installed that. Now we can upload any sketch. Here I am going to read the ambient light. This code can be downloaded from DF robot site. Before hitting upload, select board as ESP32 S3. Enable USB CDC on boot. Select flash size to 60 MB, partition scheme to 60 MB flash, and enable OPI PSRAM. Now select the port and upload. After uploading, you can see the working. Here is the camera test. You can see the quality of camera here, which is better than OV2640 modules. Also, you can see the night vision. As you can see, it can switch to night vision very fastly. That's a plus point. Here I am going to interface this camera module with OpenAI Charge GPT. But you need to purchase a OpenAI API key for this. Just go to OpenAI site and you can purchase a API key for just $5. Then I added that in the code and you can see the working. What can you see? First the camera will record the details, then it will convert the voice into text. Then the module send details to OpenAI and it uses GPT-4. Then the result will be converted to speech. Pretty nice and accurate. What can you see? I see a white computer mouse on a dark surface. 
here I faced some quality issues with the output audio. I tried to improve that by changing the resolution and network, but that didn't work well. So if you have any idea, please comment it below. After testing the DF Robot ESP32 S3 AI camera module, I came to this conclusion. The camera quality is better than the other camera module. The 160 degree wide angle camera provides better viewing area. Also, the night vision works flawlessly. The inbuilt microphone and speaker is perfect addition for a AI device. The ambient light sensor is not necessary, but it is okay. The only downside is we can't access the pins of ESP32 directly. So in my opinion, this camera module is perfect for your DIY AI related projects. You can find the product link and all other details from my video description. What can you so see? That's all about for today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new from this video. If so, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. It's all up to you. Please share your thoughts in comment section. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. I see a figurine of a character with spiky hair and an orange outfit.